So this question is a diagram question. Any question that provides some visual input, I'm going to call a diagram question. More specifically, this is a graph question. So whenever I see a graph, or really any diagram, I like to check out, you know, what do I have in front of me? What do I see? What do I understand? Right? So when I look at this graph, I can see that it is exponential. Right? We're going up and to the right. We looks like we have maybe an asymptote here at y equals 1. And our y-intercept here is at 0, 2. And we have some other ordered pairs, like 1, 4 right there that I can tell for sure um, the value of. Right, so let me just erase this for right now. So the question says the graph of y equals f of x plus 1 is shown. So before I even continue on, y equals f of x plus 1. So this plus 1 here means that there was a vertical shift up right, of one unit, which means that the actual graph, or y equals f of x, looks more like this through 1 as the y-intercept with the x-axis kind of being that asymptote. So which equation defines the function f? Okay, so basically which equation defines what I just drew? In fact, let me trace it in red so it's easier to see. So our f graph, our f of x should look something like this. It's not going to be exact, right? I'm not going to draw a perfect graph, but I do know that it goes through the y value at 1 because, you know, it's shifting it back down to its original, which means this should also be shifted back down to its original. So my graph's a little bit off, but we get the point. So is the graph or is the function y or f of x equals 2 to the x power? Well, how would I be able to tell if it was 2 to the x power? So 2 to the x power would mean that when x equals 0, we'd have 2 to the 0, and y would equal 1. Well, that is the case, right? We have 0, 1. Um, so I like that for that reason. But choice B would give me the exact same thing. Uh, choice C would not, right? Because 2 to the 0 is 1, and then 1 plus 1, right? 1 plus this one right here, is 2. And that's not what I have, so that's gone. And the same thing for choice D, right? This would give me 1 plus 2, which is 3. Again, when x is equal to 0. So choice D is gone. Let me just erase this a little bit more so I can see clearly. Again, I know that I have this, and I know that I have this. So I'm deciding here between choice A and choice B. So should it be 2 to the x or 3 to the x? Well, the other thing that I can do is I can say, well, what happens when x... So we know when x is 0, both of them work. How about when x is 1? Right? So x equaling 1 was another very important point because we know exactly where it should be on the graph. On the graph, when x is 1, we should be here at y equals 3. How do I know that? Again, because this plus 1 here means that the graph was shifted up once, which means if I'm only looking for the y equals f of x without the plus 1, I should be shifting everything down one unit. So we know here that this ordered pair here is 1, 3. So when x equals 1, f of x should equal 3. And we can easily see that that has to be choice B. Right? Choice A, when x is 1, 2 to the 1 is equal to 2, and that's not what we want. So that's why choice B is the correct answer. And this gives you a great example of how I am actively using the graph in order to answer the question.